Hi, I'm Christina Chow, and I'm a Customer Success Manager at Refinitiv. Today, we'll be showcasing how Codebook can help you quickly and easily pull information for a designated company and what types of company fundamental data can be pulled. Codebook is our cloud-hosted Python scripting and development environment that will redefine how you access, evaluate, and build on the breadth and depth of Refinitiv's best-in-class data sets, all without requiring any installation. With Codebook, we have built a streamlined experience for users with key features that include web access, enhanced content discoverability, and for those with limited to no coding skills, the ability to build with our interactive tool, Code Creator. Before we get started, let's walk through how to find the code for specific data items. Data items can be found throughout the platform. If I toggle over to a company overview page into a tear sheet, I can hover over any data item, click on the question mark, and I will see the Excel uh, definition of that data item as well as an Excel function. And the Python code will be the latter part of that Excel function. If you're still learning Python or if you need to find the code for a data item that may not be in the overview page, you can navigate over to our Code Creator app, short code code CR. From here, you can enter in any instrument and start searching for any data items that you're interested in, or you can use our categories on the left-hand side to browse. And you can see as I'm adding my data items, it starts generating code down here at the bottom. And from there, I can just copy it to my clipboard or I can open it in Codebook. Now that we know where to find the data items, let's move into Codebook and start pulling the data. To access Codebook, navigate to Code BK. I have a Python notebook here already created that will help us pull information for any designated writer's instrument code. Let's walk through a few lines of the code together. In this first line, what we're doing is just creating our input um, and creating our variable um, under writer's instrument code, our RIC. And if I don't know the writer's instrument code, I can just, um, within the cell, I can click control space on my keyboard and I'll uh, be brought up to the auto suggest feature. And it will automatically insert that code for me. In this next line, what we're doing is importing our packages. So here we're importing the icon a data API, as well as our app key and importing the Python packages that we're using, which are pandas and numpy. In this next line here, we're using our variable to pull common information for the writer's instrument code, um, where we've used RIC, um, which as you, meant, as you can see here, we've set it to IBM. And we're using this to pull just common, the common name of the company, as well as country of headquarters and industry group. And we can do the same here with some pricing information, including price close, uh, 52 week high and percent change. We can also pull in um, additional refinitive data sets, including our IBIS estimates data. Um, in this specific line here, we're pulling in our um, estimates information over a time series of two years. And we have built that out into a more complex formula, which allows us to um, start creating formulas and see the percent above or below the mean, as you can see indicated here. We can also use Codebook to pull in abbreviated financials and just pull in the information that's most important to us. So here, um, rather than toggling into the company overview page and then going to the various income statement balance sheet or cash flow pages, I can pull all of the abbreviated information in Codebook by just writing the code for the specific data items that I'm interested in and setting them up as a data frame for um, just the um, data items that are most important to me. In addition, you could chart directly in Codebook by importing some additional Python packages. Here we've imported Plotly, to, which will allow us to chart the percent change over a specific time period. And scrolling down, we've also imported our Plotly subplot Python package, which allows us to create a line chart here. Now that we've pulled information for one designated company, we can also pull information, uh, use the same method to pull information for either a list of companies or a set of companies uh, based on industry or geography. 
So you can see here within this specific line of code, I've just pulled information for IBM, but when I update the um, variable to from RIC to include IBM, I've also added it to include a, a list of its additional peers. And now when I rerun the same line of code, it pulls in all of the information for not only IBM, but all of its peers and the same information that I was looking for. And when I use the yeah, when I use the describe function in Python, it will also show me um, and quickly summarize the information for a data frame, including and quickly summarize the information for this data frame, including the five-year beta and um, the average dividend yield. I could use the same. I could do the same thing across an industry by using our screener function. So here I've created an industry, um, a screen for all tech companies within the U.S and I've rerun that data frame and now when I, um, and I've reassigned my variable. And so now when I print um, RIC, my variable, I can see it includes all of these um, Reuters instrument codes. And so when I rerun that same data frame, I'm able to see all of the inf key information for those specific companies. And I can also, again, use my describe function in order to see the key really summarize the information for the data frame across this entire industry group. I hope this video gave you a good overview of what types of company fundamental data can be pulled and the types of analysis that you can do in Codebook. For additional training, or if you have questions about accessing Codebook, Refinitiv Workspace, or Icon, please reach out to your customer success manager. Refinitiv's customer success organization is here to help you gain the most value from your subscription, and we are always happy to help you help you answer any questions that you may have regarding content or functionality. You can also visit the Refinitiv Developer Community site. On the Developer Community site, you will find tools, documentation, sample code, learning materials, and community Q&A forms to help you work effectively and get the results you need from our APIs. You can also download this notebook that we have reviewed today, as well as many other pre-built notebooks directly from the Developer Community. To access the developer community, visit developers.refinitiv.com and register for an account. Lastly, don't forget to view our other training videos for more examples of what Codebook can do for you. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoy working in Codebook.